everyone and welcome back to Carefree Caravanning. Now as you know in all our videos we do say we are not experts. Not we at do. all. We, <laughs> we, we literally do our caravanning and share our experiences with you. Now recently we experienced something that we thought was really important and we just wanted to share it with you. Yeah, um, as we say, so we, we don't... Um, we, we went down to our caravan dealer um, a few days ago, just before we uh, came away, uh, just for a chat on a couple of things. And um, whilst we were there, the, um, we were talking to Alistair, the sales manager of Oxford Caravans, and then um, it was Andrew, wasn't it? The, Andrew, yeah. The service manager uh, came up and said, Keith, he said, um, your car, he said, you're not going to be towing your new caravan with that, are you? Um, yeah, why? Why, <laughs> why not? Um, and basically he said, well, you've got the wrong tow ball on. So I was like, but the tow ball we had on um, was this one. Now, when we bought the car, for many of you who watch our channel know we've recently changed our car from the BMW to um, the Kia Sorento. Now, it came with the tow bar fitted, which was fantastic. Um, and this is what came with it. And it looks brand new. I thought, well, happy days. We've got a new uh, tow ball on it. Um, but the problem is, this is not an Alco tow ball. So any caravan, uh, Swifts or um, Baileys or any caravan that actually has a Alco chassis, you really got to have the Alco tow ball. Now this is not an Alco tow ball. The difference basically between this and the Alco tow ball is about 20 millimeters or two centimeters so it's a little bit higher so the alco one is just a little bit higher um, now if you use one like this that is not an alco designed um, what can happen is when the hitch is on there when you turn that first of all the hitch will be a lot lower on the actual tow ball so when you turn the car um, the caravan can foul on this bottom bit here and that could actually create a huge problem on the hitch of the caravan. Um, and that can cost you hundreds, quote, hundreds and hundreds of pounds to have the hitch replaced on your caravan. So as we just said, it's just a quick video this week um, where we just wanted to explain that if you do have, now that's only on this type of tobal. If you've got a, um, a swan neck type, which is um, you know either detachable or fixed to the car, which is just a swan neck, then you're not going to have this issue, I don't think. But certainly if you've got this type that bolts on, um, then you really have got to have an Alco um, tobal. So, yeah, um, and we weren't aware of that when we bought this car because this was a used car. Yeah. And, and we bought it with the tow ball on, thinking, oh, great, we don't have to spend another God knows how many hundreds of pounds yeah. um, putting a tow ball on. It was only seeing Andrew at Oxford Caravans uh, yeah. that made us aware yeah. of that fact. So, they very kindly fitted uh, the Alco uh, tow ball onto this car so we could then come away four days later on a holiday where we are now. Um, to give you an idea, the uh, tow ball, um, the Alco tow ball, uh, we paid 38.75 or the 38 pounds 75. Um, in the kit, you've obviously got the tow ball plus you've got the nuts and bolts and then some instructions. So they will need talking up. So if you um, are going to fit it yourself, it's really straightforward. It's just uh, two nuts and two bolts, but you do have to talk them up and the instructions that come with the Alco um, uh, tow ball tell you the correct talk as well. So really, it was just a quick video, just a safety thing really, because we've been caravanning for, this is our fifth season now. And although our previous cars did have the detachable swan neck type of um, tow bar, tow ball, um, we just never realized yeah. that you have to have the Alco. Yeah, didn't know. Uh, tow ball. So as I said, if your tow ball is one like that, um, that literally bolts onto the bottom of the uh, car, then please check it. It is, um, I think it's, it is about um, 10, maybe 11, the Alco one is about just under 11 centimeters from top to bottom. This one that came with our car is just over nine centimeters. So it's, it's as I said at the beginning, it's about two centimeters um, or 20 millimeters taller. So just a quick one on that one, just to make sure that um, please check it if you do have that type. 
Yeah, and so I, a couple of centimetres could save you a, couple of <laughs> a centimeters, lot of money. It really can, yeah, <laughs> it really can. So, I say, we just wanted to point that out for you. Um, if you've got the swan neck, you, know, you should be absolutely fine. But, um, yeah, that's... Uh, all we wanted to say on this video, I think. Yes, and that's it. Just short and sweet this time. Lovely to be away, by the way. Yeah, <laughs> if you, it's our first time away, and hopefully you guys have either been away or going away. Have a great, great time. First time away since lockdown. Yeah, <laughs> Not first time away. <laughs> yeah. Right, anyway, it's lovely to speak to you all. Lovely to see you. Uh, thank you very much for watching, and we will see you next time. Thank you very much indeed. Bye-bye now. Bye-bye.